Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching episode three of Invincible. I'm really liking this series so far. I think we've gotten a proper amount of gore <laughs> and a proper amount of heart, but like also now that I know what the series is, like I, I feel like it's um, enjoyable. It's not heavy, even though we get like really like like dramatic shit, you know, with Omni-Man killing the Guardians, but then we have him destroying that alien planet and it was brilliant. It looked gorgeous, the music that was playing, like just, it's it's a very interesting show. And I know a lot of people would throw it away as though it's just a cartoon, but like, I, I think I can see a little bit deeper into it and I'm really enjoying it. Like I really care about some of these characters. I would be devastated if anything happens to Omni-Man, to Mark, to Debbie. I don't know how I feel about Amber and William, um, but even like the teens, the teen, 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 team 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 that's a stupid name it's really stupid the only person i'm kind of okay with losing is rex um and that's just because he's that guy i i don't think he's necessarily a bad guy he's just that guy and i don't do well with that guy i don't know that 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 guy always rubs me wrong <laughs> you guys know what i mean don't be that guy <laughs> But we see Omni-Man recovering from his injuries um, after he fought the Guardians and obliterated the Guardians. And they kind of got some chops in, um, but it put him into a coma. And so he was taken to the hospital. Now, this is a crazy hospital that, like, they have invisible guards. Actually, the invisible guards showed up at the Guardians facility. They, like, put, like that guy's head on a thing, and I thought it was gonna reanimate him. I'm very happy that his eyes didn't open up, um, but they were able to reanimate his body. Like, it was just, it was a very twisted scene. It was very weird, um, although I liked it. And we were introduced to not only Cecil, who I'm thinking is kind of like, 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 uh, well, I mean, he kind of works with the heroes, but he's also government, so like, I don't know if he's bought, I don't know if he's shield. I don't know, but he's also working with a demon, which <laughs> if you were like, hey, there's a detective, he's on the job. If you told me he'd be a demon, I wouldn't have guessed that. Um, good job, Robert Kirkman, for writing something so out there. Um, and I just started watching horror movies on my channel, so I didn't know the, the reason why it gets so cold and people can see their breath in horror movies is because a demon is present until I watch those movies. So I think that's going to kind of be the sign that he's always around is that they can start seeing their breath. Um, but his name is Damien Darkblood, which is a little on the nose. <laughs> a little bit. And he's very like 1930s noir trench coat, you know, hat combo. The way he talks is really weird. I don't know if I like him. I don't know if I don't like him. I don't know if he's going to be a character that sticks around for a while. I would guess not, only because he actually suspects Omni-Man, and I feel like that doesn't bode well for him. Like, like he's going to be Damien Darkblood all over at some point. Because if Omni-Man finds out that there's this demon detective that suspects him, then there's going to be problems. Because Cecil already says, like, let's put somebody on the Grayson home, which... I don't think is gonna go really great with Omni-Man. Um, but I also don't understand how like Omni-Man's neighbors don't know he's Omni-Man. Like, cause when he goes through that portal into the alien realm, you know, Mark yells out, dad. And it like tells all the other guys on the, the team team that like, like Omni-Man's his dad. And if Eve knows who Mark Grayson is, then she knows that Mark Grayson's dad is Omni-Man. It's just really weird because they're always flying around in the backyard and like, I don't know how you're having a conversation in the air and your neighbors aren't like, yeah, my neighbor's Omni-Man. I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to keep a secret identity, but I'm sure that's not the first time he's done that. <laughs> I just, I think it's really obvious, especially because he a good looking man and he doesn't like wear glasses. It's not like his hair color changes. Like he's just not wearing his suit. <laughs> so <laughs> it's obvious who he is. Just like my little, I, I I don't, I, I don't like when somebody has a secret identity or an alternate identity and people can't tell. 
it's like Christian Bale playing Batman, like when he has the Batman cowl on, he does not sound like Bruce Wayne. And Bruce Wayne does not sound like Batman. That, I think, is less obvious who Batman is. Yes, but you know who Omni-Man is because he looks the same, just in a different outfit. Just a little pet peeve. <laughs> so I don't really know if Mark is actually part of Team Teen now or not. God, I hate that name. Um, uh, robot, Adam, Eve, Rexplode, Duplicate, or what make up Team Team right now. I, f I feel like I'm saying the same word at the same time, even though they're very different. But... It sounds the same. I don't like it. But anyway, Eve and Rex are a thing, even though it seems like Eve and Mark could kind of be a thing. I don't like Rex. I like Robot. I dig Robot, especially now that I know Zachary Quinto does his voice. Um, but uh, not a fan of Rex. Again, he's that guy. Um, so I'm, but I'm also, I don't know how I feel about Mark and Eve when it could be Mark and Amber. Because I like Amber. She's a sassy lady. Um, she doesn't know who Mark is, doesn't know that Mark is invincible, and his friend William doesn't know either. I feel like that's going to change, but um, William's a horrible wingman. He was all about Amber, and then when he found out that Mark might have a chance with Eve, then he was all about Eve. Um, so, make up your mind, William. And I know he's gay, so he doesn't care either way, but <laughs> be a better wingman. <laughs> Steer your friend right. And lastly, uh, we uh, met Alan. I don't know if we're going to see Alan again, um, but he uh, works for the Coalition of Planets, and he don't read too good. Um, so he fights Mark, thinking that Mark is from Urath and not Earth, and uh, gives Mark kind of a little education on what he's there for and what he's doing, and then flies away. So I hope we see Alan again. I like Alan. Um, I don't want to say he seemed nice, but he seemed nice. If you're going to be from another planet and you meet an alien who seems pretty cool, that's awesome. <laughs> um, but I feel like uh, he's going to be back because the coalition of planets doesn't sound like something that you don't revisit. Especially if Omni-Man's going into another realm and he kills an alien race. I feel like that's going to come back at some point. So um, let's, let's get Alan back into the game. But... I am excited to get into this next episode. I'm glad that these episodes aren't like super deep and I don't have a lot to, uh, to, to do in my commentary. Although I do want to say that at the beginning of the first episode and the beginning of the second episode, um, we do have the, the, the cop and I don't remember his name. Maybe we'll get him at the beginning of this episode, but he was guarding the white house and then he was at British parliament and then we get to see his son and called him dad, even though it's not his son's son, but he called him dad. And I was like, I don't know if this is just like a side plot or if this is just something weird that Robert Kirkman's throwing in here. But if we get more of that, that would be great. Matt, and I can't remember his name, but if he comes back, I'll remember. <laughs> don't come here for information. All right, guys, let's get into it. And everyone in my neighborhood is putting their trash away right now, so it's really loud, so hopefully no one can hear it. In loving memory. Ooh. We're getting a memorial. But why would Mark and Debbie be there? Unless people know that, like, Omni Man is his father and is her husband. I fought the unimaginable in defense of this world. He's giving me eulogy? Red Rush, Martian Man. Why am I getting a cold chill? <laughs> Who will save us now? I will. And so will others like me. Hmm. All inspired by these great souls who came before us. It seems disingenuous. Like I believe him, but I know that it's not true. <laughs> The big ones for show, but the public can't know where the actual bodies are buried. Souvenir hunters. Oh, gross. Jeez. Yeah. My comrades. My friends. They knew the reality of this life. That's his friends. Imagine what he does to his enemies. You wouldn't even let me see him. Joseph is finally standing still. And I still can't see him! <laughs> oh. That's devastating. 
This could happen to the Guardians of the Globe. It means that none of us are. Hmm. God, that's two cold chills in the first two minutes. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Never get invited. Show up anyway. <laughs> Saw nothing, heard nothing. Attacked in darkness, left for dead. Are you insinuating something? Yes. I know you've always been independent, but I want you to come work for the GDA and build me a new Guardians of the Globe. Hmm. You'll pick the team. You'll be in charge. I like it. Forgive me, but would Omni-Man not be the natural choice? Sure, except it's never going to happen. He's never taken orders. Not from me, anyway. Interesting. I mean, robot's a good choice. I'm feeling pizza. I can be to Naples and back before the cheese stops mm. wobbling. I want to be able to do that. I've battled alien tyrants, defeated nightmares from the deep, gone toe to toe. You will have moments of. <laughs> what happens out there? You can't bring it home. Okay? Can I go to my room? The superhero asks. We just came from your friend's funeral. Co-workers. Mm. What if Mark and I were burying you today? I'm not so easy to kill. Yeah, well, I'm mm -hmm. sure that's what Red Rush told Olga. Hey, he could run fast, okay? It's not exactly one of your premier superpowers. It sure it is. <laughs> Mark's a 17-year-old boy. They break more easily than you think. And I don't want a broken family. Okay. Yeah, color. Hey, it's, uh, Mar it's Mark. <laughs> Did you not plan what you were going to say? <laughs> Who? Mark? I know, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> oh, God, you thought I was serious. I thought she was serious. You're lame and you don't like chicks who kick assholes in the balls when they threaten you. <laughs> he actually loves it. You're terrified of me, aren't you? <laughs> yes. No. That's why I'm calling to tell you that. I, I mean, I, that's not why I'm calling. Not that that's not true. Ah, <sighs> sorry. It's been a weird day. You want to start again? Hey, handsome Mark Grayson? What's going on? Oh, handsome Mark Grayson. A study date. No pressure, but with potential for things to move to the next level. Okay. Smooth. <laughs> was that what he was thinking? Anyone home? Oh, is it a shower? We're going to see it. Naked hero? Nope. Okay, good. Eve? I thought you were at the funeral. Was she in there with Rex? You piece of shit! Babe, wait! Was he with another one of her? Rex said you're dating Invincible now. What? Oh, don't give me that. He's that guy. He's that guy. This doesn't mean shit! Oh, they're that's... not even the real Kate! We're all the real Kate. Toolbox. Yeah, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, no. Exactly. <laughs> That's why she's not okay with it. <laughs> I talked it over with my dad. He wants to train me himself. Plus, my mom would kill me if I miss any more school. Hmm. Mm-mm. Brute force. Yeah, later. That is a cool power. What's up with her? No idea. Yeah, okay. Oh. Oh. I like it. Did she go in his ear? Did she just kill him? Monster girl. <laughs> oh, look at her. She's adorable. Shut up, Rex. But isn't there like an age requirement for this ride? Am I wrong? This seems weird, right? Oh my god, I hate him. I hate him so much. Isn't there a dick size requirement? I'm sorry. For what? Your tiny dick? I mean, the way you've been strutting around. I here? love her. I love her so much. What the I love her even more. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> oh, 
Didn't do a damn thing. Is this okay? He asked for it. <laughs> Get lost, Boy Scout. Boy Scout. Oh. Oh. Invincible hit that little girl. Oh shit. <laughs> Nah, my bad. <laughs> Sorry about the dick joke. I'm sure your junk is awesome. No. Yeah. <laughs> As I was saying. <laughs> gonna ship blood. <laughs> explode. Once he's recovered. <laughs> I can't be on the same team as Rex and Kate. What? Why? Hmm. I forgot already. Can't wait to be on your team. <laughs> Rex cheated on me. What? With duplicate, all three of her. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Rex told her you and me were a thing. Ugh. Where is Kate Prime? Had a thing. I can fill her in. Oh, I just realized the two was on there. I'm sure you've had a lot of experience wrangling teenagers, but I was with the Guardian from day one. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you didn't lose your powers, you might have been there to help the Guardians on their last day. I don't know you yet, so I'm going to assume that was a joke and I don't need to beat your ass until all uh, you want to do is call me hmm. dad again. <laughs> he wears a suit. It takes batteries. Oh, I didn't realize that. Whenever I transform, I get younger. It's part of the curse that gives me my powers. Oh, no. The guys who are interested are either going through puberty or popping up on sex offender registries. Yeah. Pathetic. Oof. He's just gotta go. Oof. Omni man looked ominous. So maybe Amber likes comics too. You thought of that? Mm hmm. You dick? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about the comics. I'm talking about the dirty clothes, mm -hmm. the dishes, the tissues. <laughs> I brought you some homework. Some ta coats. I haven't read any of those. Uh, but she has, so get started. Or just talk to Amber. <laughs> <laughs> this is more me. An honest man. I like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You mind if I borrow it? I mean, just to show you that I'm interested. Yeah. I like Amber. <laughs> How does that keep happening? Why does that keep happening? Whoa! Christ almighty, I didn't think she would ever leave. Don't worry, she hasn't flushed yet. <laughs> and decide if you want to be a superhero or not. Right now? Yes, Mark, right now. Why does he have to decide right now? Where is this at? Mount Rushmore. Hmm. What state is that again? <laughs> I don't know either. Is it Montana, Idaho, Minnesota? No. North Dakota, South Dakota, South Dakota. I don't know. South Dakota? South Dakota. <laughs> Problem is, he made himself a pair of earthquake gloves. What's he want? Earthquake gloves, cool. I try to remember, it's a national treasure down there. Mm, we might be missing a nose on Abe Lincoln. They were oppressors, racists, slave owners. He's not wrong. Mm. So not actual gloves, cuffs. I, I was joking about Lincoln's nose. He'll emancipate you from your lives. <laughs> oh, God. Wow, man. I'm still working on my one-liners, but that one is really bad. And I was really on the nose. <sighs> it was a horrible joke. That's how you get ahead in life. See, it's not quite there. It's not there. No argument from me. <laughs> I still, I approve. We need to take out his gloves. Those aren't gloves. Gloves have fingers. They're more, uh, quick bracelets. Bracelets. <laughs> I said cuffs. I think cuffs are more appropriate. Okay. It's a weird way to travel, but why not? We can tear down the old power structure, build a new order. Is that Mark Hamill? I thought your doctor was in seismology. Undergrad in sociology and women's studies. I had a minor in African dance. 
Okay. Dark Seismic is kind of cool. Oh, God. Obviously, they're not going to... Well, I can't say obviously they're not going to kill him. I don't know that. Oh. Duh. They got me on that one. I, I thought for sure that they were toast or melted or whatever. I should have spent more time working on the jet. Ah! Wow, that guy is toast. Maybe. Oh, I see. So, like, none of these sound good, huh? <laughs> I just made that joke myself. I thought it was good. Change out of your outfit. You left a girl in your room while you flew off to deal with a crisis. Mm -hmm. Good. I mean, not good for her, but good. <laughs> That's the tricky part of the job. Yeah. Balancing what you want to do with what you need to do. That's life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One last piece of fatherly advice, okay? You might want to change. Yes. Dad, you got a little... Mm hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. I've been sitting here for an hour. I don't even know why I came. Do you stay for an hour just to leave? I've had guys throw punches for me before, but you're the first one who stood there and took them. Twice. <laughs> I finished all the review questions while you were off saving the world or whatever. Saving the world, huh? It might not be dead. Huh. Put it on ice. You never know when something like that might come in handy. Yes, sir. Is Omni Man no, trying no. to appear weak? <laughs> Calamari for dinner? <laughs> Get that off my counter. You just put it on top of the vegetables. You're not the only badass in this family. I sold a house today that had a double homicide. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I screwed up you. You know I love you. I know. But that wasn't an apology, Rex. Mm -mm. Give me a do over just this one time. I'll be better. Gross. Good luck with the new team, Rex. Had a girl. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Turd. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, you. you. They said, oh, you were in a relationship with Mark, and you said, ugh. Oh, that's not yawn inducing. Who's this? Huh? Shit. Oh! Oh, sorry, Pete. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Was he planning? Oh wait. Oh duh. Oh my god, I forgot that they were the, the, the clone twins. You cheap genetically inferior knockoff. Say it. <laughs> what is he doing with his hand? I'm the clone. Yes you are. <laughs> I for some reason thought that they died. I thought the guardians killed them. By the way, it's probably blocked because of copyright, but like the music so far in this episode, top notch. Oh, now they have a gun. Oh God, good. I didn't want to see any more humans killed. We have a benefactor, it seems. Yeah. Well, and the one guy has his eye back, so obviously they heal. I'm surprised you don't see it. You being the original and all. That is fucked up. That clone's not viable now, right? I'd say I'll miss you, brother, but I can always make another one. So fucked up. You get my team ready for the deep end yet? We still have work to do. 
but I feel confident in the progress we've made today. Uh, that hurts my heart. I really like Robot. <sighs> oh, demon. Seven dead, one alive. Your husband. Answers were unsatisfactory. Mm. Debbie? You all right? I thought I heard something. I'm fine. I was just coming to bed. Mm-hmm. Oof. Damien is in trouble. Just as I expected. <laughs> I feel like Damien is, his, his lifespan is going to be very short on this show, uh, especially because Omni-Man already confronted him at the funeral. And then definitely when he sees his breath at the end of the episode, that's, that's not going to bode well for that demon. Um, it's really interesting that he's talking to Omni-Man's wife, that like Debbie is going to somehow say something that's incriminating. Um, I, I feel like she would probably still back up her husband, even if it came out that he killed the Guardians. Um, and I really thought that the uh, the Mauler twins, that they were dead. So when we're in this prison and I'm seeing the chicken pot pie, I thought it was a day that was just replaying itself. And then I was like, oh, wait, there's two. OK, I see what's happening. Um, but Robot helping them get out. Did not see that coming. That's actually pretty upsetting to me. Uh, I mean, like this show is so enjoyable. And like then when there's characters that I like, and then they do something unexpected like that. That's upsetting. Um, someone who did something that I absolutely would have expected would be Rex. Definitely, that's the guy that cheats on his girlfriend. That's definitely the guy that does a half-ass apology, which is more like, I'm sorry I got caught and I wish I wasn't like this, instead of, I'm sorry I hurt you. It's not that hard. But uh, I'm glad that she didn't uh, back down, that she still is like, nah, I'm done. But it's interesting that she went over to Mark's house after she kind of said, like, when they were flying to go to Mount Rushmore, like, oh, they thought me and you were a couple. Ugh. Look, that, that, that doesn't really bode well for Mark in that moment. Like, it, there, there's nothing that, like, really makes him think, like, oh, yeah, I got a shot at Eve. Uh, if anything, it kind of confirmed that he needed to go back and hang out with Amber. Who? he was making out with and you know he left her there for an hour and she stayed and then she's like I don't even know why I'm here girl girl we know why you're still there uh William again horrible wingman um he, he essentially wants Mark to lie about who he is in order to get Amber's affections don't do that just be you you're great you how, however you are is perfectly fine I don't hide myself from other people. What you see is what you get. And if you don't like that, go find something else. Fine by me. But it's really uncomfortable that Omni-Man starts out this episode giving the eulogy for the Guardians, not only at their very public global funeral, but at their private funeral as well. Um, and the fact that the demon showed up there to talk to Omni-Man to kind of confront him, uh, that's bold. It's bold. Going to his house. Also bold. I don't know what his powers are, per se. It, it doesn't seem like he's afraid of Omni-Man, so <laughs> I'm a little worried that even if Omni-Man wanted to take down Damien, maybe he couldn't, because Damien doesn't seem afraid of him. And maybe if Damien dies, he just comes back, so there's no fear of death, really. I don't know how, I, I don't know how those demons work. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know about these demons. Doc Seismic? Pretty freaking cool. I actually liked him. I studied geology for um, a couple years and uh, I, re I really, I, the only thing you can do with a geology degree is like dig for oil or teach. Uh, I don't really want to dig for oil and I hate kids. So neither one of those were going to work for me. But I loved earthquakes. I love tectonic plates. I love all that. So uh, as a super villain, I kind of dig them. Not gloves, not bracelets, definitely cuffs. Um, I'll, I'll write Robert Kirkman a letter how he needs to change that. But I think Doc Seismic's dead, so it doesn't matter. May he rest in peace. Sis. <laughs> All the jokes, whether I said them or they said them, horrible. Horrible. 
Horrible. It's really interesting that Omni-Man fought a kaiju and didn't kill it. And brought a piece of it home. Yuck. Um, but I, I'm, I'm wondering if there's a reason for that. Like, if he wanted to appear weak. So, like, obviously he couldn't have killed the Guardians. Look at how weak he is. <laughs> you know? Like, he took down the aliens, but they were on another planet. No one actually saw that go down. So... If he's weak taking down another kaiju... Couldn't possibly have killed all those guardians, right? I really like that Robot was brought in to form the new guardians because I think Robot is a great leader. But now, after seeing the end of the episode, I'm wondering what he's up to. Um, because the <laughs> he doesn't like want like one of the Maulers to be on the guardians, right? Or does he want one of the Maulers to take out somebody in the Guardians? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what his motivation is. I, I didn't see that coming at all. But uh, Monster Girl, love her. I feel horribly bad that she's Benjamin Buttoning. Benjamin Buttoning? Bet the, doing the Benjamin Buttons. She's got the, she's got the Benny Butts. None of that works. None of that works. All horrible jokes. I'm generally digging some of these new characters, especially the new Guardians. Um, but really interesting that black, I don't want to say the black guy, his name starts with black. I, the, 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 the guy with the robot suit. It's interesting that he doesn't have superpowers, that he has a superpowered suit. Very Iron Man-ish. So he might have kind of a good heart, he might be really smart, um, and he needs the suit to do the thing that he needs to do. Um... But now that Robot's in charge, I don't know if he picked somebody that would be easy to pick off because he's not super. I don't know what Robot's motivations are. I'm really interested that he kept Rex, Duplicate, and Adam Eve, people that he knows. Um, he did add a female Ant-Man. I forget her name. Damn. I'm really good at this. Can't you tell? If I meet five people at a party, I'm not remembering but one person's name, and I might screw it up. It's just me. I don't remember names. I'll try to go back and look. I'll try to look at the credits, even though they don't say who played who, because why would they help me out? I might have to look it up. Um, actually, I got an idea. Leave the names of those characters in the comments for me. If you could just tell me all the characters' names and who voiced them, that'd be great. Thanks! <laughs> Will you guys do my job for me? Anyway, I'm really interested now because I, 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 like I said, I really like Robot. He's voiced by Zachary Quinto. But now I don't know if Robot's a good guy, if he's a bad guy, if he is a good guy trying to do good things with bad people. There's some chess pieces, I think, that I'm creating in my head that need to be moved. And I, I just don't want to face the fact that maybe my character that I really like isn't as great as I think he is. We'll see. Next episode's next week. Like, subscribe, get notifications, go to my Patreon for full-length reactions. I will be back here for episode four. On that note, <laughs> I'll see ya. And I'm so sorry for all the cheesy hammy jokes. Kinda. No, I mean, I enjoyed them. I'm not sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry. All right.